Well, even though there's a lot going on in the tropics, the Atlantic Basin, really it's still a matter of a waiting game. It's waiting for the next update, waiting for the next model run, waiting for anything to come in to tell us exactly what these storms are likely to do. Well, in just the last six hours, we've already seen major improvements to some areas, whereas others starting to see a little bit more bad news. But we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's take a look at the three storms that we do have, all still hurricanes at this point. But the good news is one of them now making landfall and disintegrating rapidly. That's the one that was in the Bay of Campeche throughout the day yesterday and today. Hurricane Katia now making its way on shore. It's still a Category 1, but likely going to become a tropical storm, if not a tropical depression, throughout the evening and tomorrow morning. Then we back up and we talk about Jose, because that is still a powerful, powerful storm. Once again, Katia going inland and disintegrating overnight, but it is still just a Category 1 at this point. Jose, though, a Category 4, still going to hit some of the areas that got hit pretty hard by Irma not too long ago, just a couple of days, like Barbuda, the Lesser Antilles, maybe even Puerto Rico, before turning northward and heading back out to sea, becoming a fish storm or maybe getting to Bermuda. That's still up in the air at this point. So obviously all eyes are still on Irma and what it's going to be doing because this is the one that's going to make the U.S. landfall and cause a lot. It's already caused a lot of damage, but it still has a long ways to go. So let's talk about the track. There is some good news in the latest update. The fact that it's moving into Cuba at this point, that is going to cause some friction with this storm. The update at 5 o'clock earlier today showed that this was going to get back to a Category 5, which it has already done, but remain a Category 5 storm all the way to landfall. It seems like it's not going to have that much real estate to work with, so we could see it get back up to Category 5 strength or it'll likely get down to a 4 again, but stay that way. Really, that's just semantics at this point, because either way, a Category 4 or 5 storm, it's still going to cause massive damage along the coast, it's anywhere from Miami up to West Palm Beach. Key West is going to get hard, Key Largo, Fort Myers. Everybody from Tampa down to Miami and then Miami up on the East Coast, as this storm continues to push further north, going to be greatly affected by this storm. Tallahassee, the track is getting closer, but they're still on the west side of the storm for now, so that is good news. There will be wind, there will be rain, but nothing like what even Jacksonville, Brunswick, Savannah, Hilton Head going to get from this storm. We do continue to see the track push north and west. Nashville going to have the low as it disintegrates as it crosses the Appalachians, but that being said, rain and wind going to move into our area. The good news is not a whole lot. I'm not expecting anywhere near what we got for Harvey when that came through. But still, there could be some flooding issues by the time we get to next week. Minor for the most part. Good looking weekend. Patriots Day will wrap up with all the good weather and then the showers move in. The remnants of Irma all the way through Thursday of next week.